Okay, so heading out tonight, had a little bit of a discovery the other night, which led to, uh, yeah, some inspiration that felt like it had been lacking for a long time. So I want to talk about a couple things. Going to make a video out of this, but going to go tour out. The sun is pretty much down, twilight setting in, just about to get dark, and kind of the moment I was waiting for to make some images. So, gonna go hit the road. So I don't know about any of you, but honestly, it feels like for me, it's been at least 12 months now since I've kind of created any work that I've been, you know, really excited about. Uh, still photography work and you know there's a bunch of reasons for that obviously one of the big ones has been covid just the limitations you know ever since i've been in the uk we've been in lockdown the entire time so all these places i wanted to go all of these projects kind of ha i had in mind have had to have been on hold and i have found personally it's it's been really easy to just kind of feel stuck especially when you know there's nothing around that was really kind of inspiring me too much but you know the other night i just went out I kind of let go, no expectations. I grabbed the Fuji X-T4. I went for a drive down some of these country roads. I just kind of played around and I made a couple images and there was almost this like spark. There was this little bit of inspiration from some of the results, you know, that I haven't really felt in a long time. So anyways, going back out tonight, gonna kind of build on that a little bit, play around, you know, just let go, get creative. And also wanted to kind of make a video about it, bring you along while I make these images and just talk a little bit about kind of the necessity of, you know, staying curious and just experimenting. So the images that I shot the night before were all shot digital on a Fuji camera, processed afterwards using some film simulations, but they were just all shot at night using the headlights from my car, just picking out these little details in the landscape. And I don't know what led me to that, but there was just this kind of feeling of mystery that came with those images and it got some ideas rolling in my head for a potential project just telling some sort of story in a very creative way. This is obviously just the start. I don't even know if any of these images will end up being something for this project if I go ahead with it, but I'm just at this point following this lead. So usually I'd be filming with my X-T4, filming on the pocket cam right now, so I have no idea what this frame looks like or if I'm in focus, but that's okay. You're gonna get the idea. But anyways, found this kind of cool scene right here. Gotta throw my high beams on, but it's so funny. Just these random little moments, and basically what I like about this so much is driving around at night and just using the headlights as the only source of illumination. And it's just kind of bouncing off of things and lighting these little elements. And it just has this really kind of interesting feel to it. It's It's like, photographing the landscape, these back kind of country roads, but doing it in this like really kind of creative way, this that has a kind of a surreal feel to it. So I'm gonna shoot this one. And I'm gonna try one more lens as well. Just going for this really kind of dark look, shooting on the 23 mil right now, but I did bring along a, let me move this light for a second. So I brought along just for fun, this old Russian lens. You probably can't see it, I'll get a shot of it after, but it's this old uh, Mir 37mm 2.8. And this thing is pretty hilarious. It's one of those eBay purchases where it's supposed to be mint and then you get it and it's like all haze and fog and stuff. But again, you know, just I'm rolling with everything with this. Whatever is kind of interesting to me, you know, just expanding on kind of this idea, playing around with this like idea of, you know, creating images with a lot of characters. So really dark, you know, I'm using a Pro Mist on this Fuji lens, but figure, you know, this old Russian lens could maybe have a cool look. So I'm gonna try that one out. It's not as fast, unfortunately it's a 2.8, but uh, I'm okay bumping up the ISO for this one. I don't even know what shutter speed I'm shooting at, a 30th. Oh, just throwing it all out for this project. The best part about this lens is I had to screw in the rear element because it fell out before it came out. So I feel like I like the other focal length better. Uh, I think where this lens is going to be cool is 
when there's kind of some direct light sources, you know, headlights and stuff, I think that's where it'll really flare. But this one could be cool. I love just this little speed sign illuminated. It's neat. But let's keep going, see what we can find. A lot of road to cover. Got, uh, got an idea for one place that I want to visit. So a big source of inspiration for me lately has been Alex So's Broken Manual Project. And, you know, just watching his course, listening to him talk about that, it certainly got me thinking in a different way with projects, you know. Not to say that I'm, you know, abandoning my interests from before, but my thoughts were always like medium format, large format, portraits of people, shots of the landscape, detail shots. And just listening to him talk about Broken Manual got me thinking about the potential to just be creative and really use tools in whatever way you want. I'm also realizing the importance of having multiple things going at once. You know, I was very singular focused before, but it's nice just to have something like this that's completely different from the other work I'm doing. And maybe I don't touch it for a month or two, but it's something, if I'm looking for a change, I can head out for a night, go create, make some of these images and just play around a little bit and switch things up. So just stopped at this place. I actually uh, drove by here the other day and photographed it for another video I did, but just this abandoned pub and it's got this sign that's really cool. So I just photographed it, but I did like a five, I think around a five, six second exposure with a car passing. Sounds cliche, but it's, it's really not any light trails there. It almost just added this like mist or this blur to the image, which kind of adds to the atmosphere, which is kind of neat. So kind of a cool scene here, just this light reflecting off the road, kind of illuminating little bits of this tree, and then also kind of a little ways off into the distance. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of cool. I gotta say too, I'm loving this lens, this Fuji 23 F2, and I have this and I got a 16 to 55 to eight and a 16 one four, but I'm really, uh, you know impressed by these lenses obviously they're super sharp can resolve a lot of detail But also they still have some character. I find you know this lens especially you shoot it wide open It has like a little bit of a glow almost which I find really nice So I mean obviously for this project so far. I'm not too worried about uh, detail and you know perfect sharpness, but Yeah, this one's been working really nice You know, the first thoughts that came to mind as I started to look at some of these images from the past couple nights is just, they have this almost like mysterious found photo vibe where things are a little blurry, there's kind of streaks of light, there's movement, things are soft, they're really kind of grainy and just have this kind of moody vibe to them where you're almost kind of trying to piece them together to figure out some sort of story or discover what they mean. So just some initial thoughts, but something very different for me. Okay, so that's a wrap, feeling pretty gassed, but just a good time tonight and the other night to come out, mess around a little bit, spend a few hours getting creative. And you know, the one thing that it reminds me of is at the start of a career, you know, for a lot of us photographers, it's easy to just have this curiosity and this willingness to experiment uh, because you kind of understand that you don't know what you're doing, you're probably gonna make mistakes. And I think as you get further in your career, it's easy to kind of get rigid, set in your ways, and you know almost a little hesitant to try something new because you're worried that it might not work so for me you know i haven't looked at these images obviously yet i don't know if this will go anywhere all i know is there's been this kind of intrigue and this interest and you know even more important it's just been fun to get out and try this to grab a different camera switch it up not worry about everything being so perfect just get creative and have some fun with things so hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna head home now though i'm pretty tired it's time for bed